hello welcoming you for recon session of fmg january 24 hope the questions are easy paper is a little easy all from the notes i heard but people not able to recall the complete choices some questions because of the tiredness and the tension panicity now the time is almost uh, 11:33 no problem just you can see plasmodium species affecting the brain that was the question so plasmodium which affects the brain which causes cerebral malaria is plasmodium falciparum that is the important manifestation of plasmodium falciparum cerebral malaria <coughs> other species they won't affect brain it's one of the important complication is uh, cerebral malaria fatal complication by plasmodium falciparum next question if any comment just you can put it in the comment box if anything the choice is wrong i need to change because it's a first hand information from your people sometimes i will get mixed to opinion question will be the same choices will be mixed <coughs> patient has fever rash and etchor if wherever there is etchor you need to think of two people one is anthrax caused by bacillus anthracis another one is cryptotyphus these two are common people causing etchor history of tick bite i'm sorry the question is mite mite bite history of mite bite what is the diagnosis history of mite bite okay and fever with the etchor you can think of scrubtyphus scrubtyphus because uh, the scrubtyphus the vector is trabeculoid mite it is caused to be orientia susugumushi it is caused by orientia susugumushi <coughs> scrubtyphus <coughs> i don't know about other choices but this is the correct answer uh, kids easily you people can easily remember the correct answer they say this is the question sir this is the answer sir what about other choices difficult but don't worry still we are collecting the materials from the people soon we will release the complete set of uh, questions more authenticated <coughs> this is just first line information patient from kerala <coughs> palm tree people say bats and some viral diseases they mention so kerala palm tree bats bat means you can think of many viruses rabies lysa viruses and histoplasma all are related to bats and mainly nipah 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 virus associated with fruit bats and it first encountered in kerala kerala is more prone for nipa infection two years before and recently two three months before also we have one case pam sub juice drinking was asked then you can decide it's nipa nipa because the fruit bat eat the palm if you take the pam sub juice if you drink yes milad milad i will rectify i'll make the question i will adjust the question I'll adjust the question. There is history of palm sap juice. Yes, if you add mint, it gives more more authentication. You go to Nipah virus. I don't know about the other choices. I don't want to put some other choices. Other choices. Whatever given from you people, whatever given by you people, just I want to add. plh hiv hiv positive patient fever neck rigidity it's a case of altered sensorium it's a case of meningitis but he is hiv positive india ink positive for cs of specimen india ink demonstration of capsule hiv positive neck rigidity meningitis india ink positive you can directly go for the answer cryptococcus neoformans cryptococcus neoformans it is the most common cause of fungal meningitis
most common cause of fungal meningitis in PLHIV? That is another question, uh, Milad. CSF protein elevated, glucose normal, increased lymphocytes is another question. We are on the way. Don't worry. That question also on discussion. I will put it in a spa parking lot. This is for Dr. Milad Ashraf Shofi. Good. I love your patients. Even midnight, 12 o'clock after examination, people become tired. Many people already slept. The people go for a movie. You people sit and work out. <coughs> that shows your dedication. It definitely it will pay. Same question it is mentioned means glucose usually it won't be normal. Glucose will be mildly decreased. Protein will be increased. Lymphocytes. If these three points are there in the question, that also suggests you have cryptococcus. Fungus. Fungal meningitis. Fungal meningitis. You can... <coughs> fungal meningitis. No. One day before exam, people feel sleepy. After the, on the day of examination, we won't feel sleepy even if we don't sleep. That's human tendency. I also have the same kind of experience, my dears. Fungal meningitis. Proteins increased. Glucose normal or decreased. Lymphocytes. Opening pressure. Slightly increased. So these are all the features of fungal meningitis. So all fit into the fungal meningitis. You can go for cryptococcus because all the other people they won't cause usually meningitis. Even cause meningitis, they won't have this kind of features. Most common cause of fungal meningitis in HIV positive cryptococcus. Next is reservoir for Kalazar. Kalazar reservoir is human. Vector is sand fly. No, even it is less than 50 also, you can go for cryptococcus because lymphocytes. Lymphocytes, Milad. Anshul Sharma, even though it is less than 50, you can go for lymph... Uh, see the lymphocytes. See here, I am getting the question. If you are able to see lymphocytes, it may be viral, fungal or tubercular meningitis. In case of bacterial meningitis, pyogenic bacterial meningitis, you can get polymorphonuclear cells. You can get polymorphonuclear cells. Okay, polymorphonuclear cells. Next is, yes, reservoir in man, that is man, human. Reservoir in India, human is the, uh, this thing, man. Man was the option. Yes, Milad. Not fox. You can, you can take a fox, dog, sand flies the vector. Human is the reservoir. In India, human is the reservoir. Next is, contact with dog, some stories there. Some cyst-like lesions, what are the diagnosis? Some people say diagnosis, some people say the organism. In case of diagnosis, it should be hydratid disease. <coughs> organism echinococcus granulosis. Organism echinococcus granulosis. I don't know the exact question. But these are the keywords. People telling the keywords. Dog tape poem, yes. Organism is echinococcus granulosus. Organism is echinococcus. Not contact, sir. They have pet dog. Okay. Pet dog. Hypochondrial pain. Very good. I will take down from you people. Hypochondrial pain. And imaging shows liver. shows cyst in liver very good that's all full elaboration <coughs> so cyst like lesions are there and contact with dog means they're having pet dog hypochondrial that's called hydrated liver disease <coughs> curdy white vaginal discharge always with whenever curdy white vaginal discharge think of candidiasis vaginal candidiasis no doubt on it because uh, trichomonas 
vaginalis it causes a watery frothy foul smelling discharge suda hyphae one and only person who produces suda hyphae is candida candida albicans the direct question i don't know about other choices maybe trichomoniasis and uh, <coughs> yes it's gram positive budding yeast yes gram positive budding yeast vaginal candidiasis yes that's a point we can trichomoniasis if not white curve, vaginal discharge but budding yeast yeast means you have go for only candida that's a clue gram positive may confuse you bacteria not gram positive not bacteria gram positive yeast yeast suda hyphae curdy white discharge no other go you can go for candida albicans i don't know about other choices if other choices are just you can mail me you can inbox me i'll give my number you just you can inbox me either whatsapp or telegram it will be more helpful to you to make uh, questions I and mean, when helpful for me also to make complete questions we need to know the complete standard of the question what standard they are asking based on that we can release the keys and we can adjust we, teaching technology will adjust next is patient with acute rheumatic fever blood culture shows gram positive cocaine chains i don't know they gave the picture or not etiological agent gram positive cocaine chains usually streptococcus all streptococcus all streptococcus and rheumatic fever it's a consequence of streptococcus pyogenes otherwise called group a beta hemolytic streptococcus group a beta hemolytic streptococcus acute rheumatic fever infective endocarditis there is another question Op option was enterococcus okay very good step bovis is equal to enterococcus don't worry enterococcus staph aureus breeden streptococcus if there is a question on infect endocarditis then the answer will be with gram positive chains given okay i will add one image don't worry i'll make it almost realistic realistic don't worry <coughs> partner treatment is indicated in main majority of the sexually transmitted infections partner treatment is indicated in gonococci chlamydia like that among the choices you can go for herpes herpes partner treatment is important Oh, trichomoniosis in the answer. Okay, I'll write trichomoniosis. Trichomonas also part of notification is important. Little bit confusing. I'll get more the get other uh, choices because if trichomoniosis, that also give tough choice to you. <coughs> part of notification is important. Right. patient with meningitis lymphocyte seen in csf etiology if we are able to see lymphocytes already told it may be due to viral fungal and tuberculous meningitis here all three are bacterial meningitis they produces polymorphonuclear cells so tuberculosis have lymphocytes in case of viral is there you can go for viral anshul sharma dr anshul sharma in case of viral choice is there go for viral remove tuberculosis in case of tube coagulase positive no no cob if coagulum if anything you get the word cob must by clastidium perfringens with a virulence factor of lecithinis lecithinis okay where there is i think these are all the first hand questions almost 12 questions we got 
and just I'm presented 12 questions okay if in case of diplococcus mentioned means uh, it may be streptococcus pneumoniae but uh, lymphocytes won't be there here in case of streptococcus pneumoniae diplococcus means there won't be lymphocytes even nicere meningitis is also diplococci but there won't be any lymphocytes there will be polymorphonuclear cells okay this is my number this is my whatsapp number as well as telegram you just aram say tomorrow whenever red color swelling means gas gangrene don't worry red color swelling cellulitis uh, sorry red color swelling crepitus in my 90% go for gas gangrene third day history of flea bite lymphadenopathy and rash which one causes flea endemic typhus possibility flea rat flea two people can cause one is plague it causes lymphadenopathy but rash is not there but another one is uh, endemic typhus endemic typhus flea you can get lymphadenopathy and rash then i can go for endemic typhus because uh, what is the vector rat flea rat flea causes only two diseases one is plague another one is endemic typhus go for endemic typhus but bubonic plague there won't be rash please remember bubonic plague there won't be rash emily munshi person from kerala altered sense of seizures fever you, you can go for nipa all features of nipa okay so please take down my number feel free to contact me i'm ready to help you just you mention your name i'm fmg student fmg kid my name is so and so and put your questions you shoot your questions i will analyze i'll take all your questions or analyze i'll make a thing i'm giving back to you what i'm going to do with me if i get a very good original information i can analyze i'll take majority of from your kit from you and i'll re, i'll re, again reproduce you for you people that's all ramba nandri sir uh, thank you it means thank you very much thank you very much god bless you all the best you will rock don't worry with this I'll wind up the session. Thank you.